Hey guys, and welcome back to Matlan's Glitching System. When we last left off, well, we found Crunk, and he wasn't exactly over the moon to see us, although I think that was just him being cute. But I do like this level, because we get to play as him. How that droid didn't see us there. Experimental loony bots, eh? Well, okay then. Right, so this is Krunk's control tether. He can take control of other robots, which is pretty bloody cool, to be honest. Um, eh, I don't really want to be controlling this thing, but I guess we'll take him for now. want to destroy... As many of these bloody heal- oh, wow, well, I mean, you know, great job and all that. Okay, so our saving grace here is the fact that we have some EMP grenades. Let's have a little look down here, shall we? What's going on? Might. Yes! We can get our hands on a Titan from quite some wear way as well, I might add. Not too shabby. I would definitely rather have a Titan over one of those uh, guards, as you've just seen. These things can actually, you know, kick an ass or two. Well, come on. Yes, there we go. There we go. We've still got a long ass way to go before we can uh, call this area pacified. Not quite sure. Oh, God. Not quite sure. Oh, no, we've lost the gun. Um, oh, right. Okay. I didn't realize we had a guard up our ass. That was a bit awkward. All right. Now, can we get the drop on another Titan? don't really want the other type of robot. Now, um, to actually hijack another droid, you need them to have an open deport. Yes. Uh, oh, hello. Well, I mean, I guess if it's all we're going to be able to get for now. Oh, that EMP really fucks us up. Yep, this might be all we can have for now. That's fine, I suppose. Yep, you see that glowing red thing on their back? That means that we can hijack them. Okay, he's just legless. Lel. Let's start firing some volleys of shotgun guff. Notice how they're healing themselves. I always find that quite interesting. These guys don't really take sides here. They're just concentrating on trying to keep themselves alive. And that is unacceptable. Oh, God. There's a Titan coming around the corner. There's two of them there, actually. Um, yeah, this is bad news. This is really freaking bad. Oh, God. It's all going to hell here. Jesus! Right, well, um, yes, quite. Ooh, yes! Right up your ass, son. Ah, oh, look at this. Look at this. I was going to say, this is a fresh one with plenty of health, but, well, actually, I guess he doesn't quite have as much health as I was hoping. One rocket seems to have done a considerable amount of damage. Now, that is interesting. It does go to show just how much damage the enemy rockets do compared to our rockets. Come on. Oh, you bastard. Utter bastard. Right, well. We've got a couple of these. Oh, he's trying to heal him, which is curious. Well, let's take advantage of the situation, shall we? Uh, that was not a great shot, if I'm being honest. There we go. That's hooked in. So, we've got full health. We've got, only got one Gatling gun, unfortunately, but that will do. Looks like you're on your own, sunshine. That's unfortunate. 
Let's see if we can melt his ass down with this Gatling gun. Yeah, it looks like one Gatling gun ain't brilliant. They also overheat, so you do need to be a little bit careful. Now, how are we doing? Now, the unfortunate thing is... We need to disable this robot <laughs> before we can move on. Ah, good. He's going to attack us. Believe it or not, I want him to do that. Come on. Go and hit me again. There we go. That should do. Right. Now. I think we're clear. Just better have a nice little scout around to make sure there's no hidey robots anywhere and then we need to destroy ourselves because you know what happens if we push the B button to escape it doesn't actually destroy the droid which really does suck but these robots are all kind of in maintenance shall we say now the only way we can destroy ourselves is by doing this yep I mean, there might be somewhere to self-terminate uh, somewhere, but I don't know. Come on, baby. There we go. Hey, Glitch. Right, let's go catch up with Glitch. Uh, we've got another EMP grenade, which is... Okay, I suppose we're not actually going to need any more EMPs or anything. I also, I like the effect of when we fire this thing. The way it kind of just, I don't know, snakes out like that and then crystallizes and explodes. It's kind of interesting. Hey, Glitch, buddy. <laughs> Take that, you f***ing shitbags. My control tether worked like a champ. Okay, you take it with you in case you need it. Bet the Exavolt never came up with nothing like that. I left the rat in the motor pool. Meet me there once you caught up with Flax. And don't come back without my f***ing chip this time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're on it. We're on it. Yeah, that was a very short mission. So we'll keep going. Need to do that in 3 minutes 15. Oof. Definitely possible. You know the drill. Yeah, this one is... Bit of a long mission, actually, but that's okay. Funny enough, the mission after this one is very short as well. <laughs> kind of strange. You get, like, these really long missions sandwiched in between these short ones. But we do get a nice, juicy, delicious battery when we start this one, which is cool. Now, we have the control tether. A mill diagnostic device adapted by Crunk to hack in... To and take control of enemy mills. Fire when the green lock on bars appear. Yeah, she's a she's a peach. Not gonna lie. Hey, pockets. Hey, sir. Show yourself. Here I am. Right in front of you, you big ugly bastard. Right, pockets, sneak. What you got? Or shady, I should say. Um, now, what can we get? Ooh. So, level 2 control tether is actually quite a nice upgrade. And the reason it's quite nice is it locks onto them faster and makes the bots that you take control of tougher. So, we're definitely going to grab that bad boy. Not bad. So, what does that give us? So, the level 2 tether operates quicker and reconfigures the armor of the target mill to be stronger. Yeah. Yep. Now, oh god. Oh, Jesus. Seriously, guys? You're just gonna come straight out like that? Oof. Yeah, we do need to be behind these guys for it to actually work, which is unfortunate. That's okay. I'm sh Ooh, fuck me. That almost went between my cheeks. Oh, God. Now, weirdly enough, on this mission, um, those two dodgy dealers are actually in two places, which is strange. I can't think of too many missions where you bump into them twice. Right, good. Ah, oh, yes. 
We really are running out of rockets as well, which is not fun. Well, let's hit these guys. Oh, only took two. Curious. Okay, well, we need a control chip to get through there. And you know what we don't have? A control chip. So, let's be sneaky sneak. Okay. Let's have a little look through here. Ooh. This area looks bad. You are violating procedure. Yeah, get fucked. Right, okay. Let's do as much damage as we can. I'll give you your fucking clearance chip, dick. Come here. Just trying to grab you, but then I forgot we're on a kind of a short leash. Okay, let's see if we can take this Tighten out. We can use our superior maneuverability to kind of hold him down if we can. Yes, we disabled one of his guns. Ooh. Right, stay frosty. Took a nasty hit there. Now, you can disable their rocket launcher, uh, but it is a lot harder to do that. I think... Yeah, we've disabled his leg, both his guns, his head. He's having a bit of a bad day, to be honest. Which is good. We like it when the mills have bad days. Oh, God, he's got a rocket launcher. Yeah, you better scream. Scream my name, baby. He's done. Yeah, these laser mills are a bit nasty. Who else have we got going on? Come on, hold. There we go. Right, anybody else to pop? Oh, who am I kidding? There's always more. Come to daddy. Where are you hiding? Oh, God, we've got some decent air there. There's no point in hiding. Excellent. Ah, uh, I think we've cleared them out. I mean, if we haven't cleared them out, we've done a hell of a job. Cool. So. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here anyway. Well, let's go. <laughs> oh, boy. That was a long way down. You're right, Glitchy. We made a mess in there. That's some fine work, soldier. Oh, uh, we've got some help. Ah, actually, one thing I should demonstrate. Some of these, and I do literally mean some of these, we actually pick up with the loader. I'm not quite sure the exact science of it. It's dodgy as hell to do it. But you can do it. Now, that thing there is a new item. That is quite a juicy item as well. Let's go pick it up before I forget about it. So this is the recruiter grenade. You picked up a recruiter grenade. Toss it near an enemy to reprogram its AI subroutines and it will become your ally. Yeah, and I don't, from what I can remember, think that that runs out either. Like, once you've reprogrammed it, it he's your friend, though, for a long-ass time. Uh, or at least until he's destroyed. Yeah, not sure if we can actually pick these ones up and move them. As you can see, the physics are, well, uh, old. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is the only way I can really describe the physics of this. Come on, come on. Let's let's see if we can get a little little hold on. Nah, it's not happening. Uh, I did wonder if there's some more things hidden. Can we pick this one up? Nope. I better pick this one up. Yeah, we can pick that. Ah, oh, hello. Maybe it's just the yellow ones. I guess. I'm not sure. Okay. Anyway, we've got a secret chip. Let's go harvest the battlefield for goodies. Now, this is where... Uh, I was just about to say, these EMP grenades really come into their own. Because you can shut down some pretty big, juicy mechs. And then quickly, if you can, get behind them and take control of them. That is a tactic we're probably going to be leaning quite heavily on for a good chunk of the game. Now, we came in through that door, so we need to head over there. Would have been quicker to grab a loader, but, you know, I'm stupid. Uh, yeah, the recruiter grenades, very juicy. Very, very juicy. Looks like we have a Millwatt sleeping there. Is he the only one? Oh, he doesn't have an open deport. Oh. 
That's unfortunate. So, we're just going to waste his ass. Uh, so, we've got health. What else have we got in here? We've got a rivet gun. Some more health. Damn. Alright, let's start hocking some grenades around. Yes. Juicy, delicious washers. That's what we want. Oh my god. You know, those coring charges have a way longer range than you really would think they do. Good, good, good. That's what we like. Now, let's grab out this and just finish the job. Now, it is all trial and error to see what actually has coins in it and what doesn't. It doesn't really make any sense. No rhyme or reason to it, which is actually quite annoying. It's not like Ratchet and Clank where you can just say, oh, you know, everything has coins in it. No, this game's a little bit weird with it, you know. They dole those coins out at such a rare kind of precious rate. But we managed to get ourselves a chip. So, we can head all the bloody way back. Probably could have saved ourselves some time by leaving a loader over there, but hey. Oh, I did also found, uh, find... I did found? I did found? I did find another way of playing this game. Uh, something that's quite recommended, actually. Apparently, Dolphin works with this game quite well now. And one of the ex-developers from this very game um, has released a texture patch. Hmm. For it. Uh, so you can actually use the Xbox textures on the Dolphin version. Which is, well, the, on the GameCube version. Which is pretty fucking sweet if you think about it. Uh, the only problem with the uh, Dolphin version, it just, it doesn't, you know, emulate quite right. Uh, it still slows down and has a few issues. I mean, it's probably a very nice way to play it, but uh, emulation's weird for me. Unless it's as close to perfect as you can possibly get, I'm not that interested. Uh, but I am a big fan of emulation, so. So where are we going from here, then? That one's locked out. That one is not quite locked out. Hmm. Why is that locked? I'm hoping... We haven't balled something up here. No, we haven't. I'm just being stupid. Right, okay. Let's go grab ourselves a Titan if we can. Well, I mean, that's not exactly a Titan. That's a Titan. Okay. Unfortunately, we have had to use two of our... EMP grenades in here. But I think there was another one that we can use. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that... Ooh. Okay. That was actually potentially quite a waste. Ah. Uh. Ah, well. That's fine. Now, I know... There was another EMP grenade around here somewhere. I'm sure it's in there. Yeah, because we couldn't quite pick it up, could we? Okay. Now we've got to blow ourselves up. Which takes bloody ages. Right, let's go open up this little fun area, shall we? Hello? Anybody inside? Oh, okay. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be anybody inside? Little angry dickhead there. Scored a couple of juicy hits on us too, which I'm not overly happy about. Uh, actually needed those coring charges. Now... This room in here is can only be described as pure, unadulterated flavor country. Uh, let's go see if we can smash some things in here. See if we can get some more coins, because we're really low. You may have noticed how low we are on coins. That doesn't bode well. Oh my god. Right, well. Yeah, we've got a few. Ugh. Always feels like such... Ah, there's actually a... 
rivet gun there. So, let's use that. Oof. Doesn't really do a huge amount of damage to inanimate objects, I guess. Okay. Well, I mean, good to know for future reference, I guess. Yeah, I thought we could destroy that screen. Uh, okay. Oh, hello, you sneaky little fucker. Yes. Yes, you didn't exactly do yourself a solid there, did you? You prick. Okay. Yeah, not convinced that was really worth it, but hey, it's uh, you know, it's it's a habit. Must destroy everything that ain't nailed down. Um, and now, oh, hello. You're dead. You hopefully are mostly dead. I'll take mostly dead uh, over not dead at all. <laughs> oh, I love the way they say, hey, please don't shoot me. Are you really going to climb on the back of that thing? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, uh, now this Titan over there. Might be worth seeing if we can try and capture that bastard. I think he'll be more used to us. Now, sadly, there's no real way of sneaking or anything like that in this game. I mean, you can sneak like that, but whether it actually, you know, counts as sneaking, I'm not sure. No, I guess not. Right, well... Hey, Titan, I need you. Oh, God. Yes. You can hear that shutdown sound effect. Now, getting behind him is going to be a little bit of fun, isn't it? Oh, you know, maybe not. Right. Ultimate cosmic power. There we go. And we've got another Titan over here, but we should have the better armor system. Oh, God. Well, he's fucked. Oh, God, there's another one. Of course there's another one. There might actually be three. Well, we've disabled his foot. So, that's good. Oh, God. Yep, one down. Oof. Could have gone better. Could have gone worse as well. There we go. He's gone. Now, there's a lot of these little bastards around. Yeah, he's just slinging rockets at us. Oh, he's... No, okay. I thought he destroyed our rockets. He has not. Ooh. I just wish this thing had a little bit more range to it. Now, I get the fact they didn't exactly want us to be able to... You know... Uh, wander the entire level, but if they could have given us a little bit more freedom. Yeah, both of our guns are disabled. Okay. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Alright, let's go put our Titan friend out to out of his misery. There we go. Not bad, Glitch. Uh, now, there is a secret chip in here and we could really use if we could find... Oh yeah, that's a... Uh, friendly fire. If we could find another... Ah! Nice. I was going to say, another EMP charge. Very nice. Uh, I didn't actually know that was there. I was hoping there was going to be a coin behind there or something, but... Those coins do seem to be in rather short supply. The golden washers, I mean, of course. Uh, we could have a little look upstairs, which I might just do in a minute. I mean, we've got to go that way anyway. But it would be nice if there's some goodies somewhere. I'll have that. Uh, have that. What else have you got for me, game? I'll take just about anything right now. Now, uh, out of curiosity, I was wondering if these yellow ones, because they appear to be the ones that we can interact with, I wonder if they were destructible. Uh, I guess not. Which is a shame. Would have been nice if they were. But, you know, we can't have everything. How many rockets do we have? Almost a full pack. 
That hasn't happened for a while. Uh, yeah, reasonably pleased with that, I must say. Right, let's get upstairs. And I've run out of coffee. No! Never mind. I'm almost out of recording time anyway, so. Ugh. Right. Let's head on upstairs. Oh. Yes. Well, at the time of recording this, it is the 3rd of July tomorrow. Oh, hello. Uh, and I'm supposed to be having my first ever <gasps> Dungeons and Dragons session tomorrow. Um, that's going to be interesting. Always wanted to try it. Don't knock it until you tried it. Okay. What have we got going on here? Well, this place looks pretty much pacified. And we're also going out to get sloshed as well at the end of it. Uh, which is some kind of like works do thing that apparently they've thrown me. I don't know. Ooh, oh no, we didn't want to use an EMP. Ah, oh, you stupid bastard. Well, never mind. Makes these guys easy pickings, I suppose. Really didn't want to use an EMP there. Oh, stupid idiot. Yeah, so, um, we have our friend Arenos around here as well. Yes, yes, yes. With a rather nice golden chip there. Would be cool, I guess, if you got a little bit of money for these golden chips as well. But, hey. Would you look at that? It's my favourite miner. Mm-hmm. Well, if it isn't my two favourite dodgy bastards. So, we can get five rockets. Hmm. Well, yeah, I'm sure I would be. I'm sure I would be happy with that, but a little bit light on cash. And we can actually buy ammo, but literally, why would you? There's no point ever in wasting money. Money is in such short supply that you pretty much always want to spend out on upgrades. Whether you're buying the servos or the weapons, but you don't really want to be wasting your time. Ah, oh, look at the range on that now. Yes, that range is so much better. Intruder! Kiss my shiny metal ass. Oh, we got two titans over there. Oh. That's kind of a problem, actually. Well, let's go see what we can do to these guys. Not much. <laughs> Which, to be fair, was expected. Uh, right, okay. Let's pacify the area. 46 rockets. Oh, my. That's the hit of the whole fruit right there. Come on. These rounds really need to be hitting their mark. As they are. Yes. Get royally fucked, my dude. Now, this guy here. There we go. Oh, man. Those heavy rounds slamming straight into that front armor. Oof. Okay. No. Oh, I thought that, armor, that, that health was just going to slip off there. But nope. We're good. Right, let's go fondle that button. We we got four batteries now, which is nice. There are six to find, so we're not doing too bad. Hmm. So this will extend the drill. Which I'm guessing is a good thing. Oh, boy. Yeah, these robots suck. They remind me of something from Matrix, actually. Now, they don't do a hell of a lot of damage, but they can take it. They really can take it. Now, it's very easy to disable their arms. But we need something that fires a little bit quicker. I'm thinking this thing. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. What you got? What do you have, sir? 
Yeah, that's what I thought. One arm down. I love the way they just dangle down like that. You would have thought that that would really screw... Oh, he's got one gun left. You would have thought that would really screw with its um, center of gravity. But hey, what do I know, I guess. <laughs> oh, look at you. How the mighty have fallen. He's gone a bit limp. So it right, happens to the best of us. Happens to the best of us. Can't always perform every time now, can we? I mean, what? Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yep, he's making a hell of a mess down there. Let's keep blasting things open. Okay, I mean, we've got some coins, which, yes. I told you I'd call them coins, didn't I? Now, can we actually do anything with these? No, I didn't think so. I didn't think we could even blow them up. Is this destructible? Eh, well, yeah, okay, I guess it is, but it doesn't really do much. Okay, now, we can go all the way down. Uh, and grab some ammo and whatnot. Nice. Now, you would have thought that... Uh, that drill would have opened up something down below us, but it actually hasn't. Um, I thought that there would be some kind of secret down below, but sadly not. Luckily, what the drill does do is connect this uh, underneath part, or this ground floor, if you will, to the, to the top floor. So, that's cool. Right, well, nothing there. Let's go take this very handy spiral staircase up. Or at least more of a spiral ramp, really. But, uh, hey. Oh, hello. Don't know if I got that before. Maybe. Uh, what's up here? Uh, yeah, I mean. Oh, very nice. If we can take it, we'll bloody take it. You better believe it. Now, let's keep going. Uh, so that's where we came from. That's where we start. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Let's see if we can't ruin your day a little bit, sunshine. That'll do. Ooh. Yeah, he's not happy with that. Can shoot him in the robot dick. I guess that's the maintenance port, isn't it? Yes. Yes, that'll do. Yes. No more oil changes for you, sir. Oh, shit. Uh, we have rockets. What else have we got down here? Have we got any nice little Brucey bonuses? No. Nope. Hmm. No, okay. Well, there might be some goodies here. Guess not. All right, well, back to the drill. You know the drill. Lol. Ah, I hate running up this thing. It takes so long. I don't think we can... Oh, hello. You naughty little sausages. Hiding up there. Grunts. Yeah, you can see when we scan them, it says the D-port is now open on them. Whereas before, if you remember, uh, on previous videos anyway, it says D-port uh, none, I believe. Oh, right in the shoulder. Oh, dude. Dude, I feel sorry for you from that one. Uh, I mean, I don't, but I'm going to say I do. Oh, you got 32 health left. Oh, let's just ruin your life. Or at least end it, you know. Hard to feel sorry for these guys, to be honest. Okay, onwards, onwards, forever onwards. Uh, that's where we caused all the chaos. And that's where we need to go. Right. Oh, yeah. Forgot about this thing. Uh oh. Bad, 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 bad. Oof. Did not mean to fall down there. Uh, oh, very nice. Yes. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Right, let's get the gallon gun back out. Now, this area should be pretty much pacified. We can go up again, but there's nothing up there, sadly. 
You would have thought that drill would have been... Oh. As you know, I wonder. I wonder. What's around here? Ooh. I never had a run around here before. There might be some golden coins, which would be very bloody nice, because it feels like we haven't seen those f the things for years. Oh, come on. This is all set up. It's set up for them. If there's no golden coins around here, I'm going to be surprised. Very surprised. Ooh. There's a golden chip, I suppose, which, uh, yay. I don't think anyone actually gives two fuck nuggets about those. But come on, game. A couple of golden coins. Would it kill you? Would it honestly kill you? I had no idea they were this rare, to be honest. Uh, uh, secret ship. Are there really not any? They're, they're like, do they just forget to put them in this late in the game or what? Well, I mean, we're only almost halfway through the game. But, dude. Talk about being bloody stingy. I mean, we've got a rocket there. Oh, this is where the uh, Titan fell. Titanfall. Ah. Yes. Yes. This is where he did fall indeed. Look at that. Not a single bloody golden coin. A golden washer, whatever. Oh. Oh, another secret chip over there. How interesting. Let's go nab that, just because why the fuck not? Uh, I seize it, I gotta has it. Ooh, right, golden, you got a secret chip. Whoop de fucking do. But at least we've got some more ammo for that too, so I guess. It all balances out in the end. Wow, there's a lot of golden chips around here. That's for sure. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we managed to get them all. Or damn near all of them, anyway. Uh, all these chips, though, and no freaking coins. Dude. Man, they're rarer than hen's teeth. They're rarer than the bloody secret chips. How does that work? Well, I'm sure we'll find some more later on in the game. Um, now, yes, this is the way you want to go. Yeah, anyway, like I said, I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here. Let's have a little squiz, I suppose. It's not exactly going to kill us to have a look up here. Uh, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Like I said, I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here. Although it would be quite funny if we came up here and there's like a golden washer or some shit. Nope. Nope. We just run out of drill. Can you imagine how fucking much ore went into making this although having said that i guess we don't really know the scale of this place we don't know how big these robots are they might be 10 times bigger than humans or they might be as small as our thumbnail who knows uh is it this yeah this this way we want to go pretty sure yes because none of the equipment here is destroyed Really? Nothing. Nothing. Not a single damn iota. Cheeky, stingy gits. Okay, well, let's go. Hey, as I can see, still no much. I was on Flax's chassis the whole way here. He didn't come through here. You'll never catch me, you rock for me, my man. Ah, me. And my friends are the rest that think you lost me today. What the f are you doing back there? Screwing your little toaster bread? Atta boy, Tommy. Let's get him. He's got to be heading for the mill outbox. Nice little bit of roll reversal there. They've nicked our lovely uh, yellow rat. Our custom rat with the awesome paint job. Hey, we did. We got all six. And we have a nice red one. So there we go. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to leave it here now because we're on 40 minutes. 
Uh, when we continue, I guess we're going to go on a chase. I do like this next mission coming up. It is a lot of fun, but it's very, very short, you know. Uh, it's only about five minutes or so. So we'll probably add it on to a... We'll probably have another two-part uh, episode or something. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time. <laughs>